Hey guys, Caleb with White Metal Games here, and today's video update is all about this Nemesis Dread Knight from the Warhammer 40,000 uh, Grey Knight line of models. So let's get right into it. Um, so the Nemesis Dread Knight is a great model. He's a fun kid to build. He's fun to look at. He's just, you know, he's an interesting choice for the Grey Knight's army. He's competitive, last time I checked, with the meta. So he's just an all-around win. Um, displayed here on this scenic, sort of monastery-style base. Um, this model was just sort of a, a fun project I wanted to do. Wasn't really a client project, just did this for giggles. Um, so let's, let's talk about the, the details here. I wanted to do a Tarnished Grey Knight proxy model, um, so that if I was to do an army later, I could maybe see how it would look. And I did it on a big model because why the hell not? Um, the bigger models allow me to try out some fun techniques and really sort of see what the palette will look like when on a big, big surface, as opposed to a small model where I may not see everything. So um, first off, the base. The base is actually a con construct of a, a Lords of the Rings uh, monastery or, or terrain pieces plus this cork basing, uh, and then these candles are a pewter bit from, uh, I think Reaper makes these, uh, or maybe another supplier. We did some OSL here on the stairs to show the glow of the candle, the flickering flame, uh, and then from the model himself, we actually represented that on his foot, so you can see where it, it sort of flickers a little bit. Um, he's not mounted currently to the base uh, for storage purposes, I left him off, but he could easily just be glued down or pinned in place if you wanted to. The uh, Galling Silencer over here, or Psychanus, yeah, Galling Silencer, that's right. Uh, we used a heat effect on the barrels, although they're pretty short, but we went pretty simple with that. And then on the sword itself, we did a really simple OSL effect here, starting with a Necron Abyss in the center, going out to a, a true blue, and then a very pale blue at the edges, uh, almost white, to sort of give that nice little OSL effect on the blade. I've seen the Glean, and I've done the Glean on the blades before, but I wanted to do something a little different. Uh, the armor itself is actually just tarnished. It's really, really simple metallics with some tarnish on it. And for the tarnish, we just use a really heavy black wash to kind of give it that gritty, oily appearance. And then for the, the knight himself, uh, we went in and did a few details, of course, the golds, the books, the scrolls, his eyes. Uh, but we left the model overall pretty simple. The selling points on the model, I think, are the object source lighting, the heat weathering, uh, and the effects, and that kind of is a nice blend. The good news is this model could easily go into any existing Grey Knight's army. He is currently for sale on eBay if you're interested in it. Uh, interested in it. Uh, or if you are a Grey Knight's player, like this style of model and want to commission more models, then we could certainly do that for you. Just contact us at info at whitemetalgames.com. Um, for me, I love this tarnished look. I think it's really great, and I'd love to see a whole army done this way to kind of give you that idea of these Grey Knights fighting for, for decades, if not centuries, uh, and, and their armor kind of falling into disarray. Not that they're, you know, you know, not that they don't clean up their armor, but just maybe they're on campaign in the warp or something like that, and they've been there for a hundred years, and they don't get breaks to clean up their armor. Um, so, yeah. That's about it for now, guys. Look for more updates in the coming days. Uh, and until next time, put your minis where your mouth is.